Hi everyone, this is instructions on my custom Velociraptor or Deinonychus. You can either have it without feathers or with them. I prefer it with it because it's more scientifically accurate and I just think it looks better. Um, they are teeth piece but they work well as feathers. So let's get straight into the build. You're going to start with this dark green frame piece and add one of these 1x4 dark green slopes onto it like that and then add another so it makes this nice back sort of sort of like slope and then turn it around add a 1x2 green plate add it on here to make all the light green level and then add a 2x2 green plate and place that under all the green as well so it makes that after this, take your dark grey 1x2 with a ball joint on the side and place that here. That's where the head's going to be attached. And then take your 1x2 black sort of hinge piece where it has two clips and place that on the bottom of this green area here and you are going to take another grey ball joint piece add that on the back this time where the slope slopes all the way down to the bottom there and then another 1x2 with two grey clips on the side and place that in the opposite direction to that grey bit and all of these attachments are this one where it's the highest point of the slope is the head these two clips are the arms these two are the legs and this one's the tail so you're going to leave that to the side a second and you're going to grab a 1x2 light grey piece oops, with the ball joint socket here this is the tail you're going to grab a 1x1 cheese slope place that uh, ah, place that like this where it's facing away from it and then grab another one of those 1x4 green slopes and place that on it just like that and that's literally all it is for the featherless tail and you're going to attach that oops you're going to attach that to the bottom bit of the slope next for the legs take a 1x2 dark green hinge piece attach one of these dark grey hinge pieces onto the back of it like this add the second part of that grey hinge piece and place it on this facing towards the green so this is the foot and attach that to the back of it just like this so you're going to clip it in there's a hair on it you're going to clip it in to the back like that and you're just going to make a second one and clip it into it next to it on the second black clip like that and so you can position it however you want or you can also like move the feet so there you go now for the arms you're going to grab a black bar and place it as evenly as you can in the front to black clip like that and you're going to for the actual arms you're going to take one of these white pieces white clip pieces whoops one of these white clip pieces and then attach a small black bar into the back like that to make the arm you're going to create two of these and then put them on the bar as far into the middle as you can like this and same for the other one now it's time for the head, so you're going to grab one of these 2x3 tan plates, 
place one of these 1x2 green plates and add them to one of the ends. Take a green uh, cheese slope, add one on that side, and a second one right next to it. Then a green plate onto here, then put that to the side. You're going to add this onto here, like that. Grab one of these, which has like a bar slot and it's one by one black plate. Add one of these orange eyepieces and put that pointing upwards. And then create a second one, but mirror it like that. Grab the head and add them onto it like that. And that. So there's the eyes. Place another green 1x2 plate on top like that. And then one of these 2x2 two two, uh, slopes onto it like that. So that's the head done. And you're going to attach that to the rest of the body here on the top of the slope of the back. Now you can place this down and you can just end it here and keep this. But I'm sure some of you, and definitely I, would like to add some feathers. So, for the arm feathers, you're going to take one of these teeth pieces, because they're the closest to the feathers you can get. Turn it around, add one of these tan pieces and place it like that. And then make another, but mirror it. Take your Velociraptor, or Deinonychus, and attach that to the end of the bar like that. That's why you need to push the arms as close to the middle as you can. And if you want, you can like tilt that down a bit if you want to actually see the arm. And then, you've guessed it, place it on the other side with the mirrored one. Just like that. For the tail, you're going to get another tooth piece, place it on on the bottom there, facing away from you, and another on the bottom facing towards you like that. And then the last two pieces are on the legs. Place one on the back leg facing away from you and one on the front leg facing towards you. Just like that. Now those are the feathers and that's it done. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing instructions on my custom LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Mighty Dinosaur uh, Pachycephalosaurus. Um, so, let's just get straight into the build. So you're going to start with one of these 2x2 two two green plates, and then add one of these 1x2 green plates, add it onto it like that. Then take a 1x4 green slope, and attach the, them, two of them, to the top of it like that. There you go. And then grab one of these dark green frame pieces. And you're just going to place this on the top like that and insert it into there. Like that. Then grab a 1x2 bar joint and put it above like that. Then take one of these 1x2 black clip pieces and place in one of these black bars as centre as you can and put it right here, like that. Then take another grey ball joint piece and attach that at the back here facing backwards and then another 1x2 black clip piece and place that here facing the same way as the other, like that. Then for the arms, take one of these white clip pieces and place in a small black claw piece like that. And then make another and attach them to the black bar on it like that. Both of them on it like this. And those are the arms. And for the tail, take a 1x2 light grey piece, place one of these slopes on the back like that, 
and then a cheese slope facing the back like that and that will just attach on to the back here just like that for the legs you're going to take this dark grey um, hinge piece this is going to be the foot and you're going to take the other and just clip that into there like that with the studs facing towards the foot and then grab one of these hinge pieces and put that on the front like that you're going to make two of these and you are going to plug them into these back clips here just like this take the other and do the same and those are your legs just the head now for the head take one of these tan 1x3 plates add a 2x2 two two green plate and then and then one of these light grey ball joint sockets and place that onto here like this place two transparent orange 1x1s one on top of this light grey ball joint piece a 1x2 on top of here like that one tooth piece going to one side and then the other on the other these represents like spikes on the back of the head and then one of these circle pieces this is like the bone or the skull that head butts things that's what this dinosaur is most known for and then just add two cheese slopes on the front here and then that is it you're just going to connect it to the rest of your dinosaur and that is the dinosaur done i hope you like the build and i'll catch you in the next one bye hi everyone today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on my custom dilophosaurus so i want to get this over and done with really quick so let's get straight to into it first you want to take this piece place one of these pieces on it like that and then put another one on like that then get a 1x2 green plate put that on here then take a 2x2 and put that here then take one of these pieces put that here take another put that here take one of these black 1x2s with cl two clips on the side put that here put another one under that black bar put a black bar on the first one you made like that for the arms take one of these white clips and plug in a small black bar create two and put them on the bar like that just like that next for the legs take one of these green clips place it on one of these grey hinges on the front of it like that and then take the other piece of that grey hinge and put it on here facing that way ah, like that create two of them and put them on the first black bar we made right there and the other one right next to it like that and there's that for the tail take one of these grey ball joint pieces place one of these slopes on it like that one of these cheese slopes on it like that and m one by 2 underneath like that and clip that onto the back just like that for the head take a 2 by 3 tan plate place one of these grey 1x2s with the ball joint socket on one end place two dark green 1x2s on the other end get two of these bar socket things 
on top of here facing outwards plug in the orange eye pieces like that on both sides like that place one of these 1x2 green plates next to it like that add one of these 2x2 two two slopes on top like that add two add two cheese slopes facing in one on the side and one on the other side to make those crests then take these curved plates place them on the back of the eyepiece like that and same on the other side with this exact orientation and then just place that where the head needs to go and that is your custom Dilophosaurus hope you enjoyed and as always I'll see you in the next one see ya